The Capital Requirement Directive 4 requires institutions to have in place an Internal Capital Adequacy Assessment Process ICAP, and an Internal Liquidity Adequacy Assessment Process ILAP. In this context, the EBA published in November 2016 the final guidelines intended to ensure convergence of supervisory practices in the assessment of ICAP and ILAP as required by the SREP. Further, in January 2016, the ECB published its expectations on ICAP and ILAP together with a description of what ICAP and ILAP related information institutions should submit. And in March 2018, the ECB launched a public consultation on its draft guide to the ICAP and on its draft guide to the ILAP. In particular, the EBA guidelines include a number of general considerations relating to, among others, the proportionality principle, operational procedures, or cross-border banking groups. Moreover, the guidelines collect information common to ICAP and ILAP, specific information on each one of them, as well as information about quality assurance and conclusions on the results. For its behalf, the ECB's supervisory expectations include a harmonized collection of information and specific supervisory expectation on ICAP and ILAP. Finally, the ECB draft guides to the ICAP and to the ILAP set out seven principles on each one of these process relating to governance, management framework or material risks, among others.